Hi and welcome to another installment of Retarded Camera Angles. Today I've done a bit of travelling which involved walking and taking a train and I've acquired one of Denmark's treasures. Honestly I've got no idea if it's Danish but I bought it in Denmark which makes it half so. It's a, a cardamom roll. This particular cardamom roll comes from a bakery called Juno. Quick info about the place, it's a very, very small bakery. <clears throat> they, they work within a very confined space and it's always jam-packed because, well, I suppose they make good shit, but the smell in there is just gorgeous. It's dominated by cardamom. I guess it's because this is their signature piece of pastry. I don't know. And and everybody in line behind you, you sort of feel forced to, to rush through it because there are seven people behind you when there really is only space for two. And you look around and all of them are salivating like three-year-old children looking at their mothers saying, Mum, is the spam getty ready? And it's, you shut the fuck up, Tim. I told you it's spaghetti, not spam getty. This is why dad fucking left us. It was something less dark than that. <laughs> Point is, a lot of people are in there and a lot of people are waiting in line to taste it. This time round, I do have a point of reference because I've, one thing is I've been there before, but that was on November 5th and who the fuck remembers November 5th? I simply don't. I remember it was good, but I don't, you know, I, I can't remember the flavors or anything. Yesterday, I went to another bakery, which you wouldn't know unless you'd been following me on Instagram, which obviously you don't. The one from yesterday was very good. It was all you could ask for. It didn't have that special something to, to elevate it and, and take it further. Let's see if this one does. I've, I've been told it should at least, so I'm rather optimistic. Sadly, it's not that warm, but it looks and smells fucking great. So let's see. Heyo, Ritz out from the future here. As much as I'm sure you'd love to watch a 23-year-old adult man chew, ponder, and then chew some more, I thought I'd fill the gap in content with some knowledge about blue mm. whales. You see, most blue whales tend to live in the ocean, and those that don't, well, they won't be bragging to their friends about it anytime soon. Mm -hmm. See, scientists have recently discovered that in order for them to move, they actually have to be in water. Mm -hmm. It's lovely trying to think of the impressions while a washing machine, which, by the way, is only at 5% of its maximum power at the moment, keeps swirling around. Mm. First thing I'm noticing with this one is that it's rather salty and the question is does that serve to benefit does that serve to benefit the roll or the is it a roll it's sort of just clustered together but you know neatly and, and swelled around round and, and tangled Mm, it's caramelized, it's rather sweet, it's got that bun-like texture and, and it's got a nice, a nice taste of, of cardamom and it smells lovely. Mm -hmm. Fuck, it's a really tricky thing because this isn't something I, I taste and I think, ah oh, well that's an instantaneous 10 uh, like you know it's not in that top top level a bit like the the cheesecake I I had the other day but it it's certainly above standard mm, 
or above the standard level. Mm. Nice and salty, caramel like. Mm. I think. I think I'll probably give this one an eight as well. It's different from from what I had yesterday. Mm. Not in a bad way. Not in a way that makes it better. It's sort of a preference thing. It's a little less sweet and a little more salty. So it's sort of what you you prefer. Yeah, solid eight out of ten. It's good shit. Don't get me wrong. It's fucking good shit, and I like it. 